So, we left the station and are back to full time exploring. We decided our first stop would be the Lambert Centre. The track in was a bit wet and we were a little hesitant to tow the caravan in. It turned out to be a breeze. No dramas getting in on the 14 kilometre stretch. The Lambert Centre is the geographical centre point of the Australian continent, aka smack bang in the middle of Australia. It had the Australia flag, a few monuments and statues and a guest log book to sign. It is named in honour of Dr. Bruce P. Lambert, a former director of the Division of National Mapping, for his achievements in the National Survey, Leveling and Mapping of the Continent. So happy to tick this place off our list. So after some photos and signing the guest book, we continued our trek west to the bitumen with our sight set on Colgra as our next stop. Pumping up the tyres now that we have reached bitumen. Topped up with fuel, pumped the tyres up, and then treated ourselves to a beer in the quirky pub. For a small pub, it was packed with memorabilia, and it even had pet snakes on the counter. A short drive down the road from Colgra was the Northern Territory, South Australian border. This is our third state border crossing for our trip now. You're allowed to camp in the car park there, so we set up for the night. It just shows that not all of our camp spots are glamorous. We were the only ones there which made it for a peaceful night. The next day we were driving on South Australian roads, tracking south towards Marla. We had decided we wanted to do a section of the Una Data track. After a short drive we found ourselves at the start of the Una Data track. The tyre pressure was once again decreased and our excitement level increased. Our first stop was at the famous Pink Roadhouse in the Unadada Township. We stopped for a famous Una burger, a beer and a look around before continuing on. A short drive out from Unadatta, we stopped in at the Mount Dutton Ruins. We had a good look around the Mount Dutton ruins. There were some pretty old cars, plenty of broken coloured glass and the old structure of the railway sliding. I even found a pair of an abandoned sunglasses outside. They were in pretty good nick. Winning.
We had our sights set on a great free camp we found on Wiki Camps, which was right by a river. Jackpot! We didn't know if there was anything in here, and turns out there is. <laughs> Look at the size of that one. Looks like I'm eating some claw for brekkie. There's some shrimp in there as well. The free camp by the river was awesome. Great overnight spot and even better, we got some yabbies. We went and had a look at the old Garn Railway Bridge in the morning. It was such an incredible structure to see up close. It was built by a team of 350 men in the late 1800s, battling against the extreme desert heat. It is a must-see spot for anyone doing the Unadatta track. Once we reached the Cooper Pedy Unadada intersection, Kurt did a quick check to make sure the issue hadn't worsened. So we just pulled over because Kurt saw some bottles on the side of the road. He's out there having a scavenger now. Um, don't know if you can see him. Can you see him all the way out there? See him zoom in. Looks like he's got a few. Man on a mission. He loves these bottles. Uh, let's wait for him to get back, and we'll see what he's got. Hi, darling. Tony Walker. Ew. A few treasures. He's decided he wants some more, so he's running. I just gave him a bag. It's quite funny. Run, Kurt. Run. While Kurt's out with the bag trying to find some more bottles, let's have a look and see what he got. So he's got this one. It's a Lincoln, Port Lincoln Springs. Might be a wine bottle. What's he got back here? Is the uh, the Johnny Walker one he was talking about? So yeah, that looks pretty cool, pretty old. This bottle is the property of the United Distilli Distillers. Another cool one. So yeah, let's just uh, let's see what else he gets when he comes back. All right, so Kurt's coming back with his bag. It looks like he's got lots more bottles. 
He's, uh, yeah, let's see what he's got from his round two adventure. What do you got, darling? I was a bit flustered with the heat, but found another various assortment of old glass bottles. Watch as we make it into Cooper Pedy and the interesting time we had discovering the place. <laughs>